Good morning, y'all. It's Thursday, September 2nd, and it's a black day. I'm Nick. And I'm Morgan. And we're your hosts of WCHS Morning Announcements. FBLA is currently selling chocolate. Find a member or visit Dr. Rains to buy some chocolate. If you're interested in participating in Board cl Game Club, Board Gamers are meeting today at 3.30 to 5 in the upstairs meeting room above the lobby. And the Pokemon Go Club will have its first meeting next Wednesday morning before school at 8.20 a.m. in Coach Lee... Luke Green's room, anyone interested in joining is encouraged to attend. It's that time of year, CHS, HOSA, and Blood Assurance will be conducting our annual Fall Blood Drive on Wednesday, September 8th. Blood Assurance will be bringing three bloodmobiles, and that will be parked beside the CHS Auxiliary Gym. Blood Assurance is in urgent need of blood, and CHS students always step up to the challenge. You must be at least 16, year old, 16 years old to donate and weigh at least 110 pounds. The sign-up sheet is in Ms. Fisher's room, EL14, on the 6th grade hallway in the middle school. Remember, the life you save could be your own. And picture day is next Tuesday, so make sure you're ready for that. All students, remember to check your CCS Jackets email accounts daily. It is a good habit to check them every morning in homeroom and then at the end of the school day. Also, remember to join your grade level or mind if you have not already done so. And attention 11th grade students, the state of Georgia requires you to have an updated vaccine form. Many of you need an updated vaccine called meningitis and meningitis B. Please speak with your parents and let them know September 17th is the last day to turn in the form to the school nurse. Juniors, remember to order your class rings. The information was shared in Monday's junior class meeting and Ms. Arnold has also emailed all juniors. If you did not pick up a class ring packet, please stop by the main office to do so. Justin's will be here tomorrow during both lunches as well as after school. They will be in the main CHS lobby and after school until 5 p.m. And in the senior section, Ms. Arnold will be hosting a senior seminar on Tuesday, September 7th. Check your emails for additional information on that. The University System of Georgia is requiring current seniors to submit an ACT or SAT score for college applications this year. Make sure you are checking the website and upcoming SAT and ACT dates along with college websites to determine qualifying scores. And cap and gown information that was shared during Monday's meeting will be pushed out soon. Ms. Arnold is waiting on a word from Justin's. Let her know if you have any questions on that. And now for the CHS weather. Today's weather is a high of 85 and a low of 62 and a 3% ch chance of rain today. And now in sports, we're going to send it over to Chris and Coach Long today. So send it there. 3% chance of rain. Hey, it's Coach Long and Chris. We're doing some sports, and it's a rare Thursday, Friday today. So it's week one of college football. So the guys really, Braylon said, hey, we're doing college football picks today? I'm like, I, yes, yes, we are. So here we are. We're doing college football picks. Chris doesn't really know that much about college football, no, right? No. You're not I'm, a so, I'm a soccer guy. Soccer guy. A football <laughs> guy. All right, well, we're going to wing it today. Right. And here's what we're going to do. If your homeroom wins the picks today, we will take – somebody from your homeroom, a guest from your homeroom, could be your teacher or one of the students, to be our guest next week here on College Football Picks. Be so, right here. guest picker. We'll put them right here. No, no, or if you want, you know, no. if this week goes well for you, we can hang <laughs> with it. All right, so let's get to it. Thursday's games. We've got Thursday, Friday, and Saturday games. Thursday's games, some big ones. Boise State versus UCF. Boise travels from Idaho all the way down to Orlando. I've got UCF in this game. What about you? Uh, I, I guess I'd have to go with what you pick. I really don't know. <laughs> Is this going to be one of those mornings where you uh, pick? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to pick what I pick? Okay. All right. So there you go. Boise State versus UCF, game one. Game two, a Thursday game, Ohio State, number four Ohio State at Minnesota. Does Minnesota have any magic left from rowing their boats, or is number four Ohio State too tough? Probably number four Ohio State's too tough would be my guess. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah. You're guessing, yeah? No. Well, it's yeah. going to be one of those mornings. Okay. All right. So a Friday game. Normally reserved for high school football, but since the Jacks aren't playing, well, there's some good college football games on that you can watch. Specifically, number 10, North Carolina, at Virginia Tech. Number 10, North Carolina. I don't know whether they're number 10. Somebody must know something I don't. Virginia Tech is always tough at home. I'm going with the Hokies and the upset there. I don't know. I want to go against you this time. Yes! All right, going with the favorite, North Carolina. All right, <laughs> the big Saturday games, two big ones. There are a lot of big Saturday games, but we're definitely not picking Miami, Alabama, because we think we know how that goes. Sorry, Miss Jesse. Just, I can't do it. But how about number 19, Penn State, at number 12, Wisconsin? Ah, you know, well. The Badgers are always tough at home. Penn State's going to be always their year. But since Joe Paterno isn't there anymore, who, who knows when Penn State's year is going to be? I'm going with the Badgers at home. Mm. Uh, 
No, I think I'll go for Penn State. Penn State. All right, there you go. And finally, the marquee game that everybody's going to be watching Saturday night, number five, Georgia, at number three, Clemson. Everybody's lost a lot of people. They, you know, it's going to be Georgia's year again this year, they say. Clemson's still Clemson, even though that guy – is playing in the Jacksonville Jaguars right now. So I'm going with the homestanding Tigers because Dr. Reigns, I got you. I got the I got the Spectre guys. I got the Allen Davis Allen, and I got you know we, we got our peeps there. Uh, what do you think? I, I'm, I'm always gonna go Georgia when it comes to that. Georgia. Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. If my brother were to find out that I would pick someone else, he'd probably just like do something. I. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Bulldogs got to stay Bulldogs. Okay. Yeah. So what are your picks? Put them in the comments below. And here's the rest of sports. Calhoun Wrestling is selling T-shirts. Not like this one that says Carnegie Mellon. But <laughs> Calhoun is selling wrestling T-shirts to raise funds for the upcoming season. The shirt has a list of all the state champions on the back and a school history. Who's next underneath it? Uh, we would love to have your support this season and hope to see you at some of the events, says Coach Green. Yeah, and swimmers need to stop by Coach Clayton's room in CO2 to pick up a, a good pancake breakfast with tickets. That, tickets. Yeah. Tickets for good pancake Oh, yeah, breakfast. I wish I could get that. All right, so we're going to send it back to the guys. Thanks for joining us for College Football Picks. Put your picks in the comments below so you can be a guest picker, and there'll be donuts. So back to our anchors for today in history and to get us out of here. See you. Thank you. Make sure you comment. Make sure you can get the chance to go on and make the next week's picks. And today in history, aboard the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay, Japan formally surrenders to the Allies, bringing an end to World War II. By the summer of 1945, the defeat of Japan was a foregone conclusion. The Japanese Navy and Air Force were destroyed in the Allied naval blockade of Japan. An intensive bombing of Japanese cities had left the country and its economy devastated. Time for birthdays. Happy birthday to Iris Perez and Valeria Mejia Santos. Happy birthday. Happy Have birthday. a terrific Tuesday. It's the last day of school. Don't come to school. Thursday. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Don't come tomorrow or Monday. And as always, Tuesday, get your fresh cut. As always, good jackets. Good jackets.